I love this sweater. It's a new shape for us. You can layer it. What a fun way to just tie in a whole outfit quickly. Tori Birch is hard at work, getting ready for her high-profile runway show during New York's upcoming Fashion Week, creating the kinds of clothes she's known for, sophisticated but not too serious, clothes that are a lot like Tori Birch. I think women want to have fun with how they dress. They want to create their own individual style, so I want our clothes to be able to help them do that. Her trademark bright colors and easy-to-wear pieces have made her a fashion phenomenon in eight short years. It's a couture look with a lower price tag, pieces that range in the hundreds rather than thousands of dollars. I thought we could really have an interesting concept if we took this idea of a luxury lifestyle brand but made it more accessible. Her line with its distinctive double T logo is now in hundreds of department stores not to mention 65 Tory Birch boutiques across the world. So they had to add extra strips. Yeah. That's going to be really beautiful. At 45, she's now got 1,500 employees and does more than half a billion dollars a year in business. Excuse me. <laughs> Success, even she has trouble believing sometimes. The fashion critic for a major newspaper called you, quote, the most influential fashion designer in America today. That's, that's a pretty high praise there. So that's when I look around my shoulder and ask, <laughs> who is she talking about? No, I don't know. That's a huge compliment. And wow. <laughs> In fact, Tori Robinson Birch has led a golden life growing up on a horse farm in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. I don't think I had a dress on until my senior prom. <laughs> she got her sense of style from her glamorous, globe-trotting parents. And I know one of these has a special meaning uh, for yes, you. Yes, my mother in Cuba in the leopard Look bikini. At her. <laughs> Reva Robinson is a constant presence in Tori's world. And I am so <laughs> unbelievably proud of my daughter. Tori even named her top selling ballerina flat Reva after her mom, who was also an inspiration for the tunics that are considered Tori's most iconic pieces. Tunics have been around for centuries, as you know, so I'm very happy that all of a sudden they're mine. Tori cut her fashion teeth, working for designers like Ralph Lauren, Vera Wang, and Narciso Rodriguez. But she longed to create her own label. Did it ever occur to you, like, oh my God, I, I, this is really hard. I can't even begin to think about doing this? Uh, several times. I worked out of my apartment for the first two years. I had uh, three boys and three stepdaughters that were all quite young running around, so it was chaos. And Tori, right over here. But here's where that golden part comes in again. She was lucky enough to have her fashion line financed with help from her businessman husband, Chris Birch, and other family members and friends. Okay, New York style setter Tori Birch is being hailed as the next big thing in fashion. And then in 2005, so Oprah featured her work. And again, it's great for bo different body types. Oh, very nice. Thank Start you. with a pair of jeans. Very nice. <laughs> it was hard to define how much she helped us. The next day, we had 8 million hits on our website. Other celebrities were spotted wearing her clothes, too. And the cool young things on TV's Gossip Girl loved her clothes so much, they invited Tori to make a cameo appearance on the show. Thank you so much for seeing me on short notice. He came highly recommended by Anna Wintour. I was happy to make the time. Tori Birch herself was something of a fixture on the New York party scene, which led to some critics labeling her a socialite designer. Well, I think that those people don't know her. Sally Singer editor of the New York Times Style magazine, recently ran a feature on Tory and is a big fan. I, I think that there's no question that she's a woman of great beauty and a woman with, with, you know, some amount of privilege, and she's a woman who's lived in a certain world in New York. But if you know her, um, you see how good she is at what she does. Indeed, Birch has won a prestigious Council of Fashion Designers of America award. Tori Birch and was honored last year by Glamour. It's an incredible honor for this uh, recognition. But success has brought some unwelcome imitation. She recently won $164 million in damages 
believed to be the largest such award in history, shutting down Internet sites that sold fake Tory Burch merchandise. What made you decide to pursue this? Well, essentially, it's stealing. And I think that at the end of the day, it's taking billions of dollars away from the number two industry in New York. So you actually live in a beautiful apartment that's in a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd stay here, and it's just turned out and worked out well. This room but not everything has been perfect. Her 2006 divorce from Chris Birch made headlines. Oh, it was incredibly hard. We have six children together that we love. And then, of course, going through it publicly was not fun. <laughs> She's been seen around town of late with music producer Lior Cohen. Is that your boyfriend? He's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, thank you again for coming. I'll come back. And, Birch uh, says her own her good fortune led her to start a program that helps young women entrepreneurs get startup loans. And she taps her celebrity network to bring in mentors like MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski and music mogul Russell Simmons. Bert shares her own reflections, too. When I first started the company, there were a tremendous amount of naysayers. And I had to just say, OK, this is something I believe in and something I want to do. These days, nobody is saying nay to her. But as she preps for her upcoming fashion show, she's well aware that as hard as she worked in the past, the future of the Tory Burch brand all depends on her. If there's product out there with my name on it, it's me, so I want it to be good.